Hey there, this is Pastor Pete coming to you from Texas. It's June and it's a good time. It's green here in Texas for June. That's that's different for South Texas, but uh, we had a lot of rain in May and been, been blessed by the Lord. So we're thankful for that. Uh, I've got a quick little video update for you. I know many of our uh, subscribers and listeners are pastors uh, from all around the world and deacons and other types of leaders uh, in your community and in your churches. So I wanted to talk just a little bit about leadership. I don't normally do that in these blogs, but uh, I wanted to take just a few minutes and, and touch on three things I believe a good leader has to be committed to, and we're learning them from the best leader of all, Jesus Christ himself. The book of Mark, chapter 1, uh, verses 32 through 39, and I want to encourage you to, to maybe pause this and go read those verses real quick. I just don't have time to read them and keep this short. Uh, we see Jesus is committed to three things. The first is, he's committed to the people. Uh, it, it says that the sun had set, and it's late, it's dark, and the people are still bringing more sick and hurting people to Jesus. And Jesus stayed to help the people. Jesus stayed up. He, he wasn't a 9 to 4 Jesus, or a 9 to 5 Jesus, or an 8 to 6 Jesus. He stayed up late that night getting to work on the people because he was committed to the people. And as a leader, no matter if, whether it's in business or whether it's in church or whatever it is, you better be committed to your people. Uh, if you're going to be a leader. The second thing is he, he was committed to pray. Uh, he was committed to prayer. If you notice, he was up again. He was up late. He was healing people, healing the sick, healing the demon-possessed, doing all that, healing everybody. But look at what it says in verse 35. It says, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up. And what did he do? He went and prayed. He didn't sleep in. He didn't take a day off. It says, very early in the morning, while it was still dark, before anybody else is up, Jesus gets up, he slips out of the house, and he goes to pray because he was committed to prayer. As a good leader, you better be committed to prayer. And the third and the final thing is, he was committed to his purpose. Verses 38 and 39 really kind of confuse me. It says, Jesus replied, let's go somewhere else to the nearby villages so I can preach there also. This is why I've come. So he traveled throughout Galilee preaching in their synagogues and on and on. What's weird is, is there's a huge need right there where Jesus is. And, and the church planner, heart that I have, says, plant a church there. The, the, the heart that I have says, stay there and keep healing the people. But Jesus said, no, it's time for me to go. And the disciples run out to Jesus and they say, Jesus, everybody's waiting for you. There's a line of people lined up. And Jesus says, no. Let's go somewhere else. Seems strange to me. But it's not strange when you think about the leader Jesus was because he was committed to his purpose. And his purpose was, so I can preach there also. That is why I have come. So many times as leaders, we get sidetracked off on other purposes and other avenues and other things that weren't our purpose to intend, uh, weren't intended to be our purpose from the start. Don't get sidetracked. Be committed to your purpose. Be committed to the people God gives you. Be committed to the prayer life that God wants you to have. And be committed to the purpose God has intended for your life. Not mine, not anybody else's, for your life, wherever you are. Pray that God blesses you with that. Read through those scriptures. Man, they're powerful. I often think, I wonder what it was like for that person who was next in line and had that sick baby or what, what it was it like for the man who was standing there with his father and had been there all night and wanted his father's sight to come back. Jesus made some people mad on that day. But as a leader, you don't make everybody happy all the time, but you've got to stay committed to your purpose. Stay committed to your people. Stay committed to your prayer life and stay committed to your purpose in life. Pray God blesses you wherever you are. Tell somebody about simplysermons.com, our bookstore, our video blogs, our sermon library. The audios are free. Send them over or you can check us out on iTunes. We've got a podcast there and at podcastpickle.com. Uh, uh, we have a podcast up on there as well. God bless you. We'll see you soon.